So another way that we can present this is that if we've got time, this time time is on the horizontal as the, uh, as the independent axis. And here we've got some measure of morphological change. And basically I'm saying that as the population goes from being here to the population being here, um, that's some amount of change that you can quantify as being this distance here. And you've got two hypotheses for how change occurs over time. So this is long periods of time over multiple species in the fossil record. And you either have this idea of phyletic gradualism where you have essentially a low variance in the rate of change. So change is more or less constant. This doesn't have to be a perfectly straight line, but it's, you know, it's, it's just it's a little wiggly, but it's more or less constant through time. And that differs from the idea of punctuated equilibrium where here we have equilibrium where we have little change occurring, and then we've got this punctuation event where you have rapid change. Again, rapid meaning tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of years. But, but rapid is as far as the fossil record is concerned. Uh, that are followed by periods of stasis. The population is large and successful, not changing much. Peripheral isolate, rapid changes, again, occurring over long periods of time in terms of our own lives, but not as far as the fossil record is concerned, followed by periods of stasis where the population is larger and not changing much, and so on and so forth. So you have this large amount of variance. In other words, it's going from basically no change to very fast change to no change to very fast change. And that's called punctuated equilibrium. And once again, that's the punctuation right here, short time span, lots of change, and that's the equilibrium right there no little change over long time spans, which leads us to this. Yes? <laughs> Oops, went too far back. So what does that graph represent? Keep in mind that that's two different graphs right there. So if I just look at one of them, what does that graph represent? And the answer is, is that that is punctuated equilibrium. So that's what this little sign here is pointing towards. So that's showing the, the black line here, the solid line. We have equilibrium, punctuation, equilibrium, punctuation. So that's basically what punctuated equilibrium means. And again, that's essentially the same thing, the same ideas as we talked about when we were talking about uh, the speciation scenario we went through. And then this contrasts with, of course, this. So this is phyletic gradualism. So going back to, so this is this dotted or dashed line that's gray, phyletic gradualism. So phyletic gradualism. Phyletic gradualism may or may not be true. Uh, but it represents basically a, a fairly constant rate of change over time. And the important thing to keep in mind about punctuated equilibrium and phyletic gradualism is that neither of them is the truth. That real populations do change fairly slowly over long periods of time. They're not 100% constant. And also, populations tend to display abrupt changes through time. So neither phyletic gradualism nor punctuated equilibrium are exactly the way things happen all the time. Uh, but they represent two extremes in terms of how you can think about um, macroevolutionary change. It either happens slowly and constantly, or at the other extreme, it happens in short bursts that are followed by relative stasis lack of change. 